In a world often filled with noise and busyness, many of us discover that silence holds a profound strength. Have you ever wondered why some people find joy and peace in solitude, or how meaningful relationships can enrich our lives as we age? Join us as we explore the journey of a 60-year-old man who has learned to cherish quiet moments, realizing that true happiness lies not in material wealth, but in health, love, and genuine connections. His valuable life lessons may inspire you to rethink your perspective on aging and the true essence of a fulfilling life. One individual, now in his 60s, has found a deep sense of comfort in the peacefulness that solitude offers. He has learned to embrace the quiet moments that come with being alone, finding them not only restful but also restorative. When he feels the desire to stay at home, he listens to his instincts, opting for the comfort of his own space over the hustle and bustle of the outside world. On days when he feels like being active, he enjoys heading out for exercise, letting the fresh air and physical movement energize him. Even when friends or acquaintances reach out to meet, he often prefers to gather at a local restaurant or cafe rather than hosting them at his place. This shift in his social habits hasn't gone unnoticed. A relative once remarked he used to be so warm and welcoming. Why have you become so distant reflecting on his journey through life? He explained that aging brings about many changes not just physically, but also emotionally and socially. He shared that as we grow older, our perspectives shift, things that once held importance may fade, making room for new priorities. In his younger years, he enjoyed the lively energy that came with frequent social interactions and gatherings. However, as he aged, he found himself drawn to a simpler, quieter life. Now, he finds joy in the small, meaningful activities that fill his days like savoring a cup of tea, tending to his garden, or cherishing moments with his family. Over the years, he has gradually stepped back from the social scene, choosing to distance himself from relationships that no longer feel genuine or fulfilling. He has come to understand that not everyone who crosses our path is a true friend, some people are mere acquaintances, their presence fleeting and superficial. For him, it is far more rewarding to spend time alone than to engage in relationships that lack depth and sincerity. He has come to appreciate the solitude that allows him to stay in tune with his routines, habits, and preferences rather than constantly adapting to the needs and expectations of others. This preference for solitude is not unique to him. Many older adults find themselves similarly inclined drawn to the peace and predictability of their own company as they age. They often feel less compelled to visit others or engage in social activities that once seemed essential. For many, the effort of maintaining these social ties can become more of a burden than a joy. Instead, they choose to focus on the things that truly bring them happiness and contentment, even if it means spending more time alone. There are three reasons why this sentiment is entirely normal and even healthy. One, visiting can be disruptive. There are times when we believe we are welcome, only to discover later that this wasn't the case. This realization, often awkward and uncomfortable, is something one individual had to face head on, leading to an important lesson about social boundaries. His story is a poignant example of the fine line between friendly intentions and overstepping personal boundaries. It all began when he unexpectedly bumped into an old high school classmate while taking a walk in his neighborhood. The chance encounter brought back fond memories, and the classmate likely caught up in the nostalgia of the moment extended an invitation for him to come over for drinks. For him, who had been longing for companionship, this invitation felt like a blessing. He eagerly accepted, and what started as a one-time visit soon became a regular weekend routine. However, after a few visits, he began to notice a subtle shift in the atmosphere during his visits. What he initially interpreted as warm hospitality began to feel slightly strained. The warmth in his friend's wife's smile seemed to fade, and the children, once curious and playful, started to retreat to their rooms more quickly. Despite these signs, eager to rekindle the old friendship, he continued his visits, not realizing that his presence was becoming a source of discomfort. The turning point came when his classmate, with a tone of gentle yet firm honesty, finally addressed the situation we've enjoyed having you over. But my wife and children have started to feel that their privacy is being invaded. They're not used to having guests every weekend, and it's beginning to affect our family time. This revelation hit hard. The realization that his attempts to revive an old bond had inadvertently caused discomfort was sobering. In that moment, he understood that the initial invitation had been more of a polite gesture a momentary warmth shared between old friends rather than an open invitation for frequent visits. His well-meaning intentions had led to an unintended intrusion on his friend's family life. His experience serves as a valuable reminder that, even when our intentions are good, it is crucial to remain mindful of others' boundaries. What we perceive as hospitality might sometimes be a formality, a polite nod to past connections rather than a genuine desire for ongoing interaction. The importance of being attuned to social cues, understanding the nuances of invitations, 
and maintaining open communication cannot be overstated. This story teaches us that empathy and awareness are essential in social interactions. By being sensitive to the needs and comfort of others, we can ensure that our presence is not only welcome but truly appreciated. 2. Frequent visits can lead to unintended trouble. Have you ever experienced or heard of a situation where a simple offhand remark spiraled into a significant misunderstanding? Another individual's story serves as a striking reminder of how even the most innocent comments can lead to unexpected and potentially damaging consequences. This friendly and sociable individual, who loves to engage in conversations with her neighbors, found herself in an uncomfortable situation that she never anticipated. During one of her regular chats with friends, she made a seemingly harmless comment about her daughter-in-law. To her surprise, this remark somehow made its way back to her daughter-in-law, and the consequences were far more serious than she could have imagined. The comment, which she had intended as light-hearted and inconsequential, was taken out of context, leading to a rift in their relationship. This unfortunate incident caused her to deeply reflect on her actions, recognizing that her frequent visits and overly casual conversations might have unintentionally sown seeds of discord. The experience was a painful lesson, teaching her the importance of being more mindful of her words and the potential impact they could have on others. She came to understand that, while social interactions are a vital part of community life, there is a need to strike a delicate balance between openness and discretion. Now, she makes a conscious effort to keep her conversations positive, steering clear of topics that involve others, particularly those that could be sensitive or easily misconstrued. Her story is a powerful illustration of how we must all be vigilant in our communication, as words once spoken cannot be taken back. By choosing our words carefully and maintaining a respectful distance in our social interactions, we can help create a more harmonious and peaceful environment within our communities. This experience is a reminder that fostering a positive atmosphere in our relationships requires thoughtfulness, restraint, and a commitment to keeping our interactions uplifting and free of potential conflict. 3. Differences in economic status can create social strain. In today's fast-paced and often materialistic society, many people are increasingly drawn to a lifestyle of independence and solitude, choosing to limit social interactions that might otherwise lead to discomfort or unease. A significant factor contributing to this trend is the noticeable disparity in economic status that exists even among families living in the same neighborhood or community. These differences in financial circumstances can create an underlying tension when families of varying economic backgrounds interact regularly. For instance, when a family with considerable wealth frequently socializes with a family of more modest means, it can unintentionally lead to feelings of inadequacy or envy on the part of the less affluent family. The wealthier family might not intend to flaunt their financial success, but their lifestyle, be it through the size of their home, the cars they drive, or the vacations they take can inadvertently highlight the financial limitations of the other family. This can create a psychological imbalance where the less wealthy family feels diminished or excluded, which can strain relationships and foster an atmosphere of discomfort. Furthermore, these social interactions can lead to an unhealthy comparison mindset where individuals begin to measure their self-worth against the financial success of others. This can detract from one's sense of personal satisfaction and contentment leading to a perpetual cycle of dissatisfaction and yearning for more, regardless of one's actual needs or happiness. As a result, many people in such situations opt to live more independently, minimizing interactions that might lead to such comparisons. By focusing on their own lives and prioritizing personal growth, they can avoid the pitfalls of envy and inadequacy. This shift toward solitude and self-reliance allows individuals to cultivate a deeper sense of inner peace and contentment, free from the pressures of societal comparison. As we age, particularly when we enter our 60s and beyond, this approach to life becomes even more significant. After decades of building a career, raising a family, and perhaps accumulating wealth, we often come to realize that true happiness and fulfillment are not found in material possessions or social status, but in the intangible qualities of life, peace of mind, self-acceptance, and the joy of living authentically. Imagine reaching 60 without any major health issues. There's the crucial factor of health. Reaching the age of 60 without facing significant health challenges is indeed a remarkable blessing. It represents a rare combination of good fortune and the diligent care of one's well-being. Consider the story of an individual who, in their early 60s, had spent many years neglecting their health. Their disregard for physical well-being eventually led to frequent hospitalizations and an increased strain on their family. The turning point came when they overheard a loved one lamenting about the time and effort required to care for them. This moment of realization struck deeply making them understand the profound impact their health or lack thereof was having on their loved ones. 
Determined to make a change, they committed to improving their lifestyle. Over the following six months, they made significant and positive adjustments to their daily routine. These changes led to a remarkable recovery in their health and significantly eased the burden on their family. Their journey underscores a fundamental truth. As we age, good health becomes more valuable than any material wealth. At 60 and beyond, our health is our greatest asset, surpassing the worth of gold or any financial accumulation. Without maintaining good health, unexpected medical expenses can become a severe financial burden, straining family resources and relationships. By making health a priority, we not only enhance our quality of life, but also lessen the emotional and financial load on those we care about. Success and wealth can become hollow if they come at the cost of losing what truly matters your family. One individual's story is a poignant illustration of this reality. To outsiders, they appear to have it all, a flourishing career, substantial wealth, social status, a beautiful spouse, and children who seem to complete their picture-perfect life. However, beneath this facade of success, their life began to unravel due to a betrayal that would have lasting consequences. This individual engaged in an affair, a decision that proved catastrophic. The trust and love that once held the family together were shattered. The spouse, feeling deeply hurt and betrayed, decided to leave, taking the children with them and seeking a fresh start away from the damage caused. This dramatic shift left the individual, now at the age of 60, grappling with the profound emptiness of their lost family. In the aftermath, they came to a stark realization, despite their material wealth and social standing, they had sacrificed their most valuable treasures. The possessions and accolades that once seemed so important had lost their significance in the face of their family's absence. The pain of knowing that their actions had led to this loss overshadowed any sense of accomplishment they had previously felt. This experience underscores a vital lesson about the true nature of happiness and success. It reminds us that the essence of a fulfilling life lies not in material gain, but in the relationships we build, nurture, and cherish. Family, as this individual learned, is irreplaceable. The bonds we share with loved ones are foundational to our sense of well-being and joy. This story is a powerful testament to the values of honesty, respect, and fidelity. It highlights how neglecting these core principles can lead to profound regret and sorrow. Maintaining harmony within our families and honoring the commitments we make to our loved ones is crucial. In doing so, we not only safeguard our relationships, but also ensure that our lives are rich with genuine fulfillment and love. Maintaining a positive mental outlook as we enter our 60s is crucial for ensure ensuring overall well-being and quality of life. Numerous studies have demonstrated that good emotional health is closely linked to a lower incidence of chronic illnesses and a quicker recovery from sickness. Adopting and nurturing a positive mindset can have profound effects on our health, including reducing stress levels, enhancing decision-making abilities, and fortifying our relationships with others. A positive mental state contributes significantly to our physical health by mitigating the harmful effects of stress, which is known to impact various bodily functions and increase susceptibility to illnesses. When we maintain an optimistic perspective, we not only reduce the risk of chronic conditions, but also bolster our immune system, making us more resilient to health challenges. Moreover, a positive mindset can improve our cognitive functions and decision-making processes. It encourages a more balanced and proactive approach to problem-solving and helps us navigate life's complexities with greater ease. This, in turn, enhances our relationships as a positive outlook fosters better communication, empathy, and mutual support with those around us. As we reach the age of 60 and beyond, it becomes increasingly important to focus on our happiness and appreciate the accomplishments we've achieved through the NIAT, our lives. This period of life offers an opportunity to reflect on our journey, celebrate our successes, and cultivate a sense of gratitude for the experiences we've had. By doing so, we can create a more meaningful and joyful second half of life, characterized by a deeper sense of fulfillment and contentment. Living for ourselves, embracing the simple pleasures of life, and adopting a mindset that prioritizes well-being and happiness are essential components of this journey. Learning to be comfortable with solitude and finding joy in our own company can significantly enhance our ability to face future challenges with strength and resilience. This positive outlook not only enriches our own lives, but also enables us to approach aging with grace and confidence, leading to a healthier, more rewarding existence. If you find these stories inspiring and they motivate you to take action, please comment 9. If not, comment 0. Your feedback means a lot to us. Thank you for your valuable time. Part 2. Nine Great Things About Older People Who Like to Be Alone in the golden tapestry of life, solitude often reveals its most profound gifts. Imagine a journey where every quiet moment becomes an opportunity for deeper self-discovery 
unshakable independence, and boundless creativity. Picture the wisdom and emotional resilience cultivated in the peaceful embrace of solitude. Join us as we explore the remarkable stories of individuals who have found profound joy, gratitude, and a heightened appreciation for relationships in their golden years. Let their inspiring journeys remind us that within the quiet, we can uncover a reservoir of strength, empathy, and fulfillment. Dive into this heartwarming exploration and discover how solitude can illuminate the path to a richer, more meaningful life. 1. Profound Self-Awareness one of the most remarkable gifts that come with age is the profound self-awareness that allows us to truly relish our own company. As we journey through life, we accumulate experiences, learn from our triumphs and mistakes, and cultivate a deep understanding of who we are. This journey of introspection and reflection leads to a serene confidence, an inner peace that is unshakable and does not require external validation. Consider Margaret, a 70-year-old retired teacher, whose story embodies this profound self-awareness. Throughout her years, Margaret embraced solitude not as loneliness, but as an opportunity for growth. Through journaling and meditation, she explored the depths of her mind, uncovering dreams and facets of her personality she never knew existed. This time alone was not just a retreat, but a revelation, helping her to understand and appreciate herself more deeply. Margaret's serene presence is a testament to the beauty of self-awareness. Her story inspires us to cherish our alone time, to use it as a powerful tool for self-discovery. As we grow older, let us embrace solitude, delve into our thoughts, and celebrate the unique individuals we have become. In doing so, we find not only peace, but also a profound sense of fulfillment and joy. Two, unwavering independence. In the golden years of life, there lies a profound strength in those who embrace solitude. Older adults who enjoy being alone often exhibit a remarkable level of independence, a trait that empowers them to navigate life with resilience and grace. These individuals have mastered the art of self-reliance, solving problems and making decisions without the need for constant support from others. This unwavering independence not only fosters adaptability, but also instills a deep sense of confidence and self-worth. Take my neighbor John. For instance, a widower in his late 60s, John epitomizes the spirit of independent living. He finds joy in his solitude, taking pride in managing his home and finances single-handedly. His days are filled with self-driven adventures, from maintaining his garden to embarking on solo travel expeditions. John's stories of exploring new destinations alone are nothing short of inspiring, painting a vivid picture of a life lived fully on one's own terms. For older adults, John's journey is a powerful reminder that independence is not just about doing things alone, but about embracing the freedom to live authentically and boldly. It's about proving to oneself that age is just a number and the true essence of life lies in the courage to stand tall and face the world with unwavering independence. 3. Creative Spirit In the quiet embrace of solitude, creativity often finds its most fertile ground. For many older individuals, this alone time is not just a retreat, but a wellspring of inspiration. Engaging in activities like painting, writing, gardening, or crafting, they discover a profound joy and a deep connection to their inner selves. Consider Mary an 80-year-old artist whose life is a testament to the beauty of solitary creativity. In the peaceful corners of her home, Mary's vibrant artwork blooms. Each brushstroke is a reflection of her soul, a piece of her journey. She once shared that her most profound and moving pieces were born in moments of quiet introspection. These are the times when her heart speaks the loudest and her creativity flows freely. For older adults, Embracing solitude can unlock a reservoir of untapped potential. It is in these moments of peaceful reflection that their true creative spirit shines. The quietness allows their minds to wander, to dream, and to create without boundaries. So, to every senior who finds themselves alone, remember that within your solitude lies a powerful force. Embrace it and let your creativity soar. Your masterpieces, like Mary's, can illuminate your life and inspire those around you. 4. Rich Inner Life in the twilight of life, many older adults find solace in solitude, cultivating a rich inner world teeming with wisdom and insight. This deep reservoir of knowledge is a testament to years of introspection, contemplation, and lived experiences. It is within these quiet moments that they develop a profound understanding of the world, one that is nuanced and deeply enriching. Take Clara. For example, an 85-year-old former librarian whose solitary hours are spent surrounded by her vast collection of books. Each book on her shelf holds a story, a lesson, or a memory, and Clara has the remarkable ability to weave these literary treasures into conversations. Her discussions are not just dialogues, they are journeys through history, philosophy, and the human condition. Every visit to Clara is a voyage of discovery, filled with the wisdom that only comes with age. It is this rich inner life that makes older adults like Clara so invaluable. Their insights and perspectives are a treasure trove, 
waiting to be shared with those willing to listen. In a world that often rushes past the elderly, we must pause and appreciate the depth of their experiences. 5. Emotional Resilience As we age, many of us discover an incredible, often unspoken strength, emotional resilience. This is particularly true for those who embrace solitude. They have mastered the art of processing emotions independently, finding healthy ways to cope with life's inevitable stresses, sadness, and loneliness. Emotional resilience is not just a survival mechanism. It is a powerful testament to our ability to navigate the highs and lows of life with grace and dignity. Take my dear friend Robert, a 75-year-old war veteran, as an inspiring example. Robert faced an unimaginable loss when his beloved wife passed away. Yet, instead of succumbing to despair, he sought solace in the embrace of nature. He spends countless hours hiking through the serene woods, reflecting on his life and finding peace within the quiet moments. Robert's journey through grief and his ability to find inner peace exemplify the strength that lies within us all. For many older individuals like Robert, emotional resilience is a beacon of hope. It is a reminder that we possess an inner strength capable of guiding us through the darkest times. By cherishing our solitude, we can discover new depths of courage and resilience, proving that no matter the age, our hearts can endure and flourish. 6. Gratitude and Contentment In the quiet moments of solitude, there lies a profound well of gratitude and contentment, especially cherished by those in their golden years. For many older individuals, finding joy in the simple things becomes a daily treasure. A beautiful sunset, the pages of a good book, or the warmth of a cup of tea can fill their hearts with immense satisfaction. These small pleasures weave a tapestry of contentment that is truly enviable. Take, for instance, Elena, a retired nurse in her late 70s, whose story has deeply inspired me. Every morning, Elena embarks on a peaceful walk, delighting in the melody of birds and the gentle awakening of the world around her. She speaks of these moments with such heartfelt gratitude, a testament to the power of mindfulness. Elena's ability to find happiness in the present moment has taught me the invaluable lesson of slowing down and appreciating the beauty that surrounds us. Her simple yet profound joy in these daily rituals is a beautiful reminder that true contentment comes not from grand achievements, but from savoring the little moments that make life meaningful. Let us all, young and old, embrace this wisdom, cultivating a deeper sense of gratitude and finding peace in the present. 7. Empathy and Compassion As we age, many of us find solace in solitude, discovering that time spent alone can be deeply enriching. This solitude often nurtures a profound empathy and compassion within us. Take Helen, for example, an 82-year-old retired social worker. Her years of reflection have cultivated a heart brimming with understanding and kindness. Though her demeanor is quiet, her soul is vibrant with empathy. Helen's days are devoted to volunteering at a local shelter, where she listens intently and offers words of comfort to those in need. Her ability to connect on an emotional level has touched countless lives, making her a cherished figure in our community. Helen's story reminds us that the quiet moments of solitude we experience can lead to a deeper connection with others. For many older individuals like Helen, solitude becomes a fertile ground for personal growth. It is in these moments of quiet that we develop a greater understanding of human emotions allowing us to become better listeners and more compassionate friends. Embracing our solitude can be a powerful journey towards becoming more empathetic and loving, ultimately enriching the lives of those around us and leaving a lasting impact on our communities. 8. Strong Sense of Boundaries One of the most empowering qualities of older adults who cherish their solitude is their unwavering sense of personal boundaries. They understand the vital need to establish and maintain these boundaries to safeguard their peace and well-being. This invaluable wisdom enables them to lead a life that is not only balanced but profoundly fulfilling. Take my Aunt Beatrice, for example. At 73, she has mastered the art of setting boundaries with grace and determination. When she needs her alone time, she never hesitates to kindly decline invitations doing so without a shred of guilt. Beatrice's ability to prioritize her needs is a testament to her commitment to self-care, and it has taught me immeasurable lessons. Her gentle yet firm approach to boundaries not only preserves her well-being, but also enhances the quality of her relationships. By honoring her own needs, Beatrice embodies the essence of self-respect and emotional resilience. This powerful practice of setting boundaries is a beacon of inspiration for all older adults reminding us that taking care of ourselves is not only our right but our duty. It is through this self-respect and self-care that we can truly nurture our inner peace and live our best lives. 9. Heightened Appreciation for Relationships Heightened Appreciation for Relationships in Our Golden Years In our golden years, the stereotype that solitude equates to antisocial behavior couldn't be further from the truth. As we age, those quiet moments alone become a sanctuary, 
a time to reflect and recharge. This solitude, far from isolating us, actually deepens our appreciation for the relationships we hold dear. It's not about having a vast network of acquaintances, but about cherishing the meaningful bonds we have cultivated over the years. Take Uncle David, for instance. At 78, his quiet evenings at home are a testament to his love for peaceful reflection. Yet, this solitude doesn't diminish his social interactions, it enhances them. When Uncle David is with his close-knit group of friends, he is fully present, deeply engaged, and every moment shared is incredibly special. His interactions are rich and fulfilling because he values quality over quantity. In our later years, we find that the balance between solitude and social engagement brings profound joy and contentment. We invest our time and energy into relationships that truly matter, making every connection more meaningful. Embracing solitude while treasuring our cherished connections is a beautiful dance that adds depth and richness to our lives making our golden years truly golden. As we journey through the twilight of our lives, let us embrace the solitude that these golden years often bring. Within the quiet moments, there lies an opportunity to delve deeper into our true selves, to cultivate a serene confidence, and to unleash a wellspring of creativity. Like Margaret, John, Mary, Clara, Robert, Elena, Helen, Beatrice, and David, we too can find profound joy and fulfillment in our own company. Let us celebrate our independence, cherish our solitude, and appreciate the richness of our inner lives. In doing so, we unlock the hidden treasures within us, discovering that age is not a limitation, but a gateway to boundless wisdom, empathy, and contentment. Together, let us embrace the beauty of growing older, finding peace and purpose in the moments of solitude that shape our golden years. If you find these stories inspiring and they motivate you to take action, please comment nine. If not, comment zero. Your feedback means a lot to us. Thank you for your valuable time.